guy right here. He actually only lives about 10 minutes from here in Naperville. Yay, hey, Naperville, he represented. He's actually the only one of the three of us that is a uh, Chicagoland area born and bred guy, at least among the vocalists, that is. He was born and raised in Buffalo Grove. He's a... Uh, Clapping for Buffalo Grove, I don't know why, that's weird. No, no, no. He's also a, 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 a pianist and a composer. Uh, and he's a DJ around these parts, playing all sorts of uh, different private and public events. Please give a big round of applause to our bass vocalist today, Mr. David Wilner. Thanks so much. Thank you, John. So, uh, the Four Seasons had a storyline that they liked to incorporate into the majority of their songs. And it was simply this. The guy was never quite good enough for the girl. And you'll see that storyline played out through many of the songs that you hear throughout the afternoon today. But uh, you see, the Four Seasons also had kind of a rival, a contemporary band back in the day. They were over on the west coast of the United States, and they liked to sing songs about girls and surfing. This now, is not that show. Yeah. That kind of music was referred to back in the day as bubblegum pop. Now, the Four Seasons said, you know what, they're making some money doing that. No, they, they decided, let's try our hand at a little bubblegum pop of our own. And that's the song that we're going to perform for you next. And in fact, bubblegum pop is pretty apropos for this next song, once you figure out the title. In fact, I think you'll recognize it once you hear the first three chords. What do you say? Hit it, Craig! I've been a-searching all this big wide world Now finally I found 